So if you've ever had no choice but to separate from your family, like, Oof. you know, on a plane, yep. you're headed on a trip, yep. um, in order to afford to take that flight, you're going to want to listen to this. Now, sometimes my family would like to separate from me, so that's <laughs> on purpose, but still, if that's not that's you, different. that's the that's different, different thing. The Department of Transportation has proposed a new rule that would ban airlines from charging these so-called junk fees for families just to sit together on a flight. It's the latest in a series of orders directed by the Biden administration. Imagine. I mean, I think everybody can, how yes, difficult it is to try definitely. to try to juggle that when you're on a plane. Let's bring in seven on your side, Zanita Pineda, to help us better understand what this actually means when we're buying tickets to travel as a family together. Yeah, when you're buying tickets or when you're on the plane, I mean, I don't want to sit next to my own toddler. I didn't want to. And I'm sure the guy, the businessman in 14F, I can tell you, doesn't he does want not. Cheerios. He does not. I'll be formula. honest with you, he does not. No, really, you don't this want. This happened to me, too. Exactly. I get it. They're going to sit your kid next to some guy. It's like, here, have the Cheerios and the, and the, favor, and the juice sir. box. You might want to sit in that other seat, mm -mm. and I'll sit next to right. that kid. Right. Because right. this is going to require the airlines to um, seat families together yes. or pay penalties. It's all part of the crackdown on these unfair pricing and junk fees the Biden-Harris administration has been targeting. Many airlines don't guarantee family seatings. Instead, making you pay for seats together, mandating this fee-free family seating could save a family of four up to 200 bucks on round-trip tickets since seat selection is like $24 a pop. That's for the cheap seats. The new rule demands a few things. Fee-free seating for families that will require adjacent seating within 48 hours of booking and then mandates refunds and free rebooking if you don't get that. So that is a big move forward to kind of say to these call the airlines responsible and say if you don't do it then you're gonna you know have to pay the right, price later so much of that pushback um you had a question for well me. i was just th you know some airlines have started complying voluntarily do we think others will follow along i think they're gonna have to i mean mike you know they are already a few airlines um alaska air american frontier and JetBlue, voluntarily banned the fees last year that's after the president called on congress to ban family seatings in his state of the union address uh, the other big airlines are being urged to get on board with the ban and require the upfront disclosure of the fees. Um, and then if they don't, impose per child penalties and then pay violations. The DOT wants the carriers to disclose really upfront online when customers call to and inquire about seating or, or book a ticket that they're going to seat the young child next to them or an accompanying adult at no cost. That way you don't get misled into saying, oh my gosh, I better pay for this mm. or we're all going to get separating. It's mm. all part of what they say are these hidden fees which surprise customers like, hello, mm. at the end of the booking process. Process. Yeah, it makes it difficult to do it online. You kind of have to talk to a person on phone right. mm -hmm. and say, are you charging me for this? Can mm -hmm. I get seats for my family together? And they want to drive you to the online, you know, log okay. in and pick your seats, but it's hard to do it. And they're seeing even, not even across the aisle. They're saying that you have to be in the one together. Right. So they've, they're giving us, going a step further. So speaking of these